The first play-in series is done and dusted and the Hurricanes have swept the Rangers. Uh, Brenton from It's Hockey Night here and we're going to run through how they did that. Now, uh, later today, after I've got sport tonight, I'm going to do a whole season obituary for the Rangers. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Uh, but yeah, let's go through how the Hurricanes swept the Rangers. For a lot of these series of the winners, I'm going to say how they won the series, but uh, I think it's easier <laughs> for this one to just say sweep. It's a harder one to put an actual fingerprint on this series to say a player put his stamp on this. Uh, whole series. I mean, there were great performances. Feshnikov, obviously, with his uh, hat trick in the second game. Um, Aho uh, doing very, very well throughout this game. I'd say he was more likely the one that 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 did the most damage throughout the series. Uh, th three goals, five assists for Aho in three games is a massive effort. So offensively, he really was the uh, the straw that stirred the drink and got everything going. But that's not to take away with. Uh, and this is why I say this was a whole team effort. They were able to keep the sixth highest scoring team during the regular season down to a, a very small amount of goals. The Rangers just managed four goals throughout the series, and uh, except for the game three, they didn't look like they were going to score any more of anything more than that. They came out this game um, as you would expect when it's do or die. Um, I, I think they left it a little bit too little too late, and they were a bit late to start. Plus, they were outclassed, but yeah, game one and two, even though the goaltending was, was very good by Mrazic, um, the defense was a lot better. The defense, I think, was the real key in this series in allowing the, the Hurricanes later in the game to score a lot of goals. The first periods are, are pretty equal. It's three goals to two across all the games, so it really was their ability to just swallow the Rangers, really get them frustrated, and then the Hurricanes' offense could... Uh, in the second and third score the goal. So I really think that's the biggest key of this series was their defense. They were really able to grind. They were they were extremely mobile but extremely physical at the same time. It's a really it's a really uh, awful combination. I, I wouldn't want to be seeing this team in the next round because they uh, they have a very good defense that that's scary. That's very scary in in the fact of just how mobile they can be but also how aggressive they can be at the same time. If uh, like a team like Toronto uh, has to play this team, they'll get swallowed and eaten whole. Um, but yeah, which allowed the goaltending to obviously shine. Mrazic did quite well. Now today, uh, Reimer did very well in the back-to-back -back situation. Um, obviously in the first period, it's probably the best period the Rangers have had um, this entire series. And, uh, and that's the thing, he didn't let up any bad goals. And then they were able to counterattack the other way. Now, uh, obviously, some things didn't go the Rangers' way in the fact that, you know, a lot of their stars didn't score. Their defense seemed out of touch and, and very out of breath the longer the game went. Panarin and Zabinajad were kept to two points for this entire series each. So, yeah, they, I mean, they just never really had a chance to, to get off the grounds. And, um, and, yeah, leaving today was a little bit too little too late. If they can have it all over again, I think they would rather go with Shashustrakhan over, uh, um, God, what's his name? God, why am I blanking on this? What is his fucking name? Lundquist. Oh my God. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I think they would have rather gone with, I think if they could do this again, they would have rather started with Shashustrakhan over Lundquist. Um, I think that would have, I mean, maybe gave him a chance to steal game one. Um, they... You know, they needed a, a very strong goaling performance to, to steal that game, really. They were outplayed, especially in the second and the third. But, yeah, I, I think uh, you look at this series and, and you kind of go, well, the better team won. And the the Hurricanes are a team that could play all 60 minutes and the Rangers won a team that could do that. They, they, they weren't able to do that for a lot of this season. They had lapses in, in periods and... And uh, I don't think you can fault, outside of maybe the first period today in Game 3, I don't think you can fault anything that the uh, the Hurricanes did. Because it was, it was really, really good. Like, just everything, they just swallowed them whole and they were just relentless. If they got a 2-1 lead in the third, they were just relentless in making that 3-1, 4-1. It, it was just a whole overall work ethic. It was a whole team in vibe. Um, again, Ahu was a complete star this, this series. Um... I think, yeah, watch to him when the, if this team goes deep. He, this is a coming out party for him, um, big time, because, yeah, that's, that's a lot of points. Uh, he really, yeah, put a bit of a stamp on this series, but I think it was a whole team effort. 
I, I can't name many players that did poorly uh, for the Hurricanes. They really just were able to just, yeah, really have that grit and that grind. I didn't mind uh, Flory, Aiden Flory uh, as well. I had a lot of... Uh, a lot of jam to his game and on defense. It was a real pain in the ass. Um, but yep, yeah, uh, that's the video, guys. Um, so uh, yeah, again, I, it's just a whole team effort. A really good structure. But uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they have a massive structure on defense, this team. It's just they have a lot of skill. Obviously, they have a structure, but it's not. Um, yeah, they just have a lot of puck moving skill. They could get it out of their zone so quickly. They could hit... The Rangers against the boards, if, if Rangers wanted to get it into the corners, they could get it out, uh, either by hook or by crook, by skill or by will. Like, they just, they really have, they really have it all on defense. They, they, I'm, I'm really scared to verse this team. Um, yeah. Trecek as well, uh, yeah, he looked pretty good. Uh, obviously, not as many points as you would like from him, but uh, yeah, I think the Florida Panthers are going to regret moving him uh, as this goes along, um, and no need for Williams to be Mr. Game 7. Well, mostly because there wasn't going to be a Game 7, but they managed to sweep him. Anyway, guys, that is the whole video. Uh, obviously, I didn't talk too much about the Rangers just because that is a whole video about their whole season and obituary that is coming up later tonight, uh, probably in the morning if you're in America and Canada because there's a lot of work to be done there. Uh, otherwise, yeah, if you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit subscribe if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.